Hey everybody, what's going on? It is Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, you know, I never want to be the kind of person that says, do this, don't do that. Um, because, you know, everybody is their own person. Everybody has their style and their opinion. But if I could, in today's video, I'm going to throw down a don't and you just let the chips fall where they may. You can throw down some comments um, on what you think about this. But for those of you that are involved with any kind of competition in robotics, I would say don't lose yourself in competition. Don't lose your style. Don't lose the reason why you joined competing in the first place. And here's what I mean by that. Um, everybody knows that there's a competitive spirit in everybody. Everybody loves a good game. Everybody wants to win. And so today's video is just kind of saying, in the midst of your competing, don't lose just yourself in the competing. If you're one of those casual, hey, let's go out and have some fun. Let's do this for the kids. Let's make sure they learn, make sure that they, you know, have this memorable experience don't lose that, you know, that energy, that motivation when the competition starts or when the competing starts, where you end up being this crazy animal of a person like, why aren't you doing what I want you to do? You're never going to win if you keep doing this. Because everything that you're trying to do up until that point just goes out the door when you become this crazy competitive animal. And I had to check myself sometime, you know, when I thought, hey, you're losing your love for competing and just enjoying it and watching the kids have fun because you're getting too crazy about them wasting time. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't be disciplined and stick to a schedule and make the best out of every minute that they can. But I'm saying don't swing the pendulum the other way where you're this, you know, dictator that's saying, hey, we're not going to win if this doesn't happen to the point where your team is getting stressed out and it's not fun for them anymore. Because if you ask any of your team members why they joined up, they wanted to have fun. They wanted to compete. Yes, they want to have fun. And a lot of them will say, well, I'm not having fun if I don't win. But if you dig deep inside, they just want to be part of something bigger than what they are. They want to be a part of that team that does these amazing things. And if you get to the point where you're this crazy animal and you, come on, we have to win. We have to, you know, beat all those other teams. And I get it because, you know, being in Southern California, you felt that, you know, you felt these teams were just trying to outduel everybody else. And I'm sure that happens everywhere. But, you know, you felt it real good in Southern California, like everybody was just trying to be that top dog. And then that's when you start to lose who you are. You start to lose the fun. And so if you ever get yourself caught up in that, Mr. Hino is just throwing this out, step back. And just take a look at that big picture again, because it's easy to get sidetracked. You know, you see those trophies, you know, you see all of the accolades that go with winning and robot design and, you know, all of the good things that come along with these competitions that it can blind you to what is really important. You know, that kid that says, hey, you made a difference. You believed in me. You ha helped me have a lot of fun. I love engineering or robotics now because you took the time to teach me and help me and made this whole learning experience fun. That, I hope, is the ultimate goal, not how many trophies and awards that your team gets. I mean, if you're getting those along with the, the fun, I mean, that's just money in the bank right there. But there was a lot of times that myself and my team, we left a competition and, you know, it's a mix of feeling that emptiness, like, wow, we tried really hard and, and didn't win anything. But that was that that feeling should have easily been, well, you know, we had a lot of fun, too. And I know I, I know what you're thinking right now. Hey, Mr. You know, you're you know, the fun comes with the winning. Right. 
Um, but you know, you have to be able to refocus your kids and say, that was awesome. You know what we did? We did the best we could. And you know, your, your kids are going to know whether they gave the best effort or not. And I'm hoping that if you have the same kids again, they're going to try better the next year if they felt like they lowballed the effort. But, you know, they, they should be able to sit down and, and if you have them redirect to, man, we did everything we could and we just fell short. But that journey we took from day one to the competition to, you know, looking at it in perspective, we had a very fun time. And that's where myself and I don't know how many of you have to just be careful we don't get lost in the we have to win we have to win if we don't we're losers attitude because that's where the kids they they pick up so much I had parents when I was a teacher robotics coach they tell me the pig the kick the kids pick up on so much that you're not even aware of you know you sit back and go Oh my gosh, how did they even notice that? Or how do they take it that way? Because they're so perceptive. They have these antenna that pick up all of your facial expressions, your feelings, your thoughts, what you say. And they can pick up when you're being over competitive. And if we don't win, you're losers type, you know, attitude. And so that's where I have to be careful. So I will preach to the choir here and say, I need to you know be careful about that when I get back involved in competing that I just don't lose myself man robotics is fun competing is fun being sad and depressed when we don't win is not fun I mean it can motivate us to be better next year but not to the point where we're driving ourselves crazy and students begin to drop out and say, you know what, I'm going to do something else. And hopefully it's not because, you know, we were mad and crazy. Okay. So today I just thought I would share my heart because I have to be careful in my class to do the same thing with just regular school. You know, I have to be careful not to overemphasize test scores and everything that is thrown to students that make them feel less than worthy. I have to tell them, you know what, you're my kids. I love you no matter what. And so I'm just leaving that with you today. I know that some of you might be in the midst of competing. And so I'm just hoping that that gives you some type of perspective as you enter in your competitions. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mr. Hino. If you're new to this channel, I'm so glad you are here. I will try to upload as much as possible. Um, so just bear with me. So I'm just glad that you guys are here. All right, everybody. I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.